Today we're going to talk about problem solving approaches and why it's so important. Problem solving approaches is very important and it's widely used in all of business fields and the one that's going to easily solve problems is the one that's going to stand out. Here are five approaches to problem solving. The rational approach represents a basic formula for solving problems but there are many other approaches you can use to experiment what to find and what works best for you. Here are some approaches you can use. The rational approach is one of the most common. It's, it's a multi-step process that works well for a wide range of problems. Here are the steps of rational approach. Defining the problem, identifying the possible cause, brainstorming options to solve the problem. Collaborative approach includes multiple people in the problem solving process. Brainstorming should include a diverse group of stakeholders, people who are affected by the problem and or may be affected by any changes made in an attempt to solve it. The historical approach is helpful when the problem you're facing has precedent within your field or industry. Researching how others have solved the problem can guide you as you develop on your own solution. The five whys. This approach can help you get to the root of a complex problem. Begin by asking why the problem occurred and then ask the same question about your response. For example, if you answer that productivity has stagnated because morale is low, follow up by asking why is morale low. Ask why a total of five times doing so will help you find the problem's root cause. The hybrid approach involves combining two or more of the previous problem solving approaches doing so prompts you to examine the problem from multiple angles helping you to arrive at the most effective solution possible important of problem solving obviously every organization has problem and every individual has problem too for this reason the ability to solve a problem is of a great important to individual and organization some of the benefits include number one make the impossible possible knowledge alone is not the key to solve a problem but raise complementing it as systematic problem solving approach makes us different this help individual and organization overcome previous challenge makes you stand out people are trained to do as usual they have acquired skills and knowledge in what they do, however, people can hardly solve a problem when they are unexpected or unprecedented ones. Third, increase confidence. Having the ability to solve a problem will boost your confidence level because you are sure of your ability to solve a problem. You don't spend time worrying about what you will do if a problem should arise. There were seven steps of problem solving approach. Step one, define the problem. Step two, clarify the problem. Step three, define the goals. Step four, identify root cause of the problem. Step five, develop action plan. Step six, execute action plan. And step seven, evaluate the results. To define the problem is clearly identifying the root cause of a problem developing a detailed problem statement that includes the problem's effect you first must ask yourself some questions as what is the problem how did you discover the problem when did the problem start and how long has the problem been going on as there is enough data available to contain the problem and prevent it from getting passed to the next process step if yes contain the problem so to clarify a problem means to make it easier to understand, usually by explaining it in more detail. So to clarify a problem, also you should ask yourself some questions, as what is the problem and, and how did it come to attention? How has the problem been framed? And what are the consequences of this framing? How big is the problem? And what is the cause of the problem? So to define the goals is to know your purpose, what do you really want? Why do you want that and why is this important? Then create the plan around how you accomplish it and by when. Another question is to know how you are defining your goals. What is your end goal or desired future state? What will you accomplish if you fix this problem? What is the desired timeline for solving the problem? So what is the root cause? The root cause is a source when removed. 
would help eliminate the problem to find the root cause use the five wise tool just state the problem and ask why is this happening and keep asking why as you get deeper and deeper to the root of the problem steps to identify the root cause what is the root cause analysis what is the purpose of the root cause analysis three basic types of root causes how to perform a root cause analysis in five steps develop action plan what is develop action plan developing an action plan means turning ideas raised during strategic planning or evaluation into reality it means identifying the steps that need to be taken to achieve the resource center aims and there are steps step six execute action plan what is execute action plan to execute an action plan clarify the resources you'll need to reach these goals makes a timeline for the task or action items and determines what team members you'll need to do it all step seven evaluate the results what is evaluating the results it is an assessment or judgment made by comparing what actually happened with what was intended assessments or judgment made are based on the analysis of information.